everyone, uh, Terry here from Sparkling Smiles. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to use the home whitening kits from Wicked White. So they just came out with a brand new LED home whitening kit. It has a more powerful light with it. It's the newest technology for teeth whitening when you're at home. They're really, really easy to use. I know some people can be a little bit intimidated when it comes to doing their teeth whitening at home, but I promise you it's really user friendly and it's really, really easy to do yourself. Right now where my office is closed because of COVID-19, of course I'm not able to offer any teeth whitening services in office right now. So there's a few home whitening options that are really great options for those of you who can't wait until the office gets reopened in a few months. So basically, with this is the, the Wicked White one. So basically, what you want to do is start off with your shade guide. So you want to hold it up to your teeth, mark it on the shade guide what shade you are to begin with. And then at the end of your treatment in 7 days or 10 days, however many days you do, compare it again to see how many levels um, they came whiter. So keep track of that. Um, you always want to use your pre-treatment spray, so brush your teeth with this, spray a little bit on your toothbrush, brush your teeth with it. This just helps lift the surface stains on your enamel before you do your actual whitening. So you would do that. And then what you want to do is get your whitening pen out and you just have to click the end of it a couple times and you'll start to see the gel come out onto the little brush. The first time you use it, it does take quite a few clicks because the gel is kind of way down here and it has quite a ways to go before it gets up. So it's starting to come up on the tip there now. You don't need very much. Less is best when it comes to this. If you put too much gel on your teeth, it's going to end up getting up on your gums. If that happens, it's okay. What will happen is your gum might turn a little bit blanched, almost like a white color, or it might go kind of red. It, it's always short term, it will go away. The best thing to do if you do get the gel on your gums is to rinse everything off really well and then start over again. So I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to talk while I show you how to do this, but you'll kind of get the gist of it. So. I have a little bit of gel on the end there and basically what you want to do is just paint a really thin layer on the teeth that you want to whiten. Usually the front 10 teeth is good or you can kind of look in the mirror and smile and see which teeth are in your smile line. You don't have to go really far back because you don't see those teeth uh, when you talk and when you smile. So just the front ones. So all you want to do, really thin layer, you just take your pen and Paint a little bit of the gel on each tooth. Make sure that you don't get it on your gums. Do a little on the bottom. And after that, take your light, turn your light on, and then put your tray in. 